so we were talking about the resistance training, we've mentioned strength training, and then there's power training, and I think this probably has a little bit to do with what you just mentioned with the um, problem with aging, right? And uh, so can you just briefly talk about the differences and then and maybe where, like, does one shine more than the other um, with respect to, like, what older individuals should be doing or focusing on? Or is it, like, you know, or, um, you know, women versus men? Is there any differences there sure. as well? So the, the definitions do somewhat vary depending upon who you ask. I'll give you mine. So resistance training is kind of a catch-all for any type of exercise that moves against resistance. Uh, this would be body weight exercise, push-ups, pull-ups, uh, body weight squats would be a resistance exercise. Free weights, machines, cables, uh, any of these would be considered resistance exercise. Strength training often is used synonymously with resistance training, but also it can be thought of specific to, let's say, power lifting, where you're moving very heavy loads, and necessarily when you're lifting heavy loads, you're doing you're moving them very slowly. You can't if I give you a very heavy load to lift, you can't move that fast or you'd be able to do more than, than whatever you're doing. You'd be able to do more repetitions than what you're doing. Uh, whereas power is the ability to produce force over time, so more quickly. The more rapidly you can produce force, the more power you generate. Um, power is developed on a foundation of strength, but it also involves this time component. And there is evidence that at least it is some training needs to be done, quote unquote, explosively. So moving weights quickly, or, or when I say weights, doing resistance quickly uh, to generate maximal power. And our group was involved recently in a meta-analysis on older individuals that showed functional improvements were optimized when they did training that involved moving the concentric action quickly and then doing a controlled eccentric. So, um, I do think it's important uh, for older individuals to incorporate some power training in their programs. It doesn't mean that every set needs to be done in this respect, but at least having some of the, um, the training that will be devoted towards power training. And I think it's really exemplified by the fact that uh, hip, hip fractures. So when older individuals fall, and it's a frequent thing now, uh, particularly in those who are sedentary, um, they are not able to quickly reverse their fall and avoid the, you know, the um, resultant effect of a hip fracture. And studies show that uh, individuals, older individuals, when they get a hip fracture, I, it's been a while since I've looked at the literature, I think it was 50% never recover full function and, and die within, I think, two years. Um, half of them go into uh, convalescence. They, they have to be under constant care. They're, they're not able to be functionally independent. So, I mean, it's a big thing, you know, whereas the younger individuals, they can get their cast signed by their friends or whatever, and it's not a big deal. But older individuals, these are really important, uh, you know, issues that you want to stave off. And I would say that uh, having some power training and then, again, other types of training, it's not, this is another thing I think is really important. We often think in binary terms, train this way, not that way, or you know, there's programs that are devoted, this is how you should train. It's, we should be thinking of training as combining different concepts to a given goal, because often doing some lighter load training with some heavier load training, uh, if possible, sometimes that's not possible, but sometimes it is. Doing, you know, like I said, some power training with heavier load training or lighter load, moderate training. These are things that ultimately can optimize the uh, effects for a given goal. For thinking about the power training for me, I would think, well, it sounds like it would be easier if I had lighter weights. <laughs> Can you do, I mean, is that still considered power training if they're, um, or does it have to be like a heavier, like a fast movement with a heavier? No, no, no. You know, you, so be... again, you're not going to be able to move heavy, heavy and lighter relative terms. So if you're using a very, heavy, let's say you're doing what's called a 3RM, the maximum amount of weight you can lift three times. Let's say I'm doing a bench press with a 3RM. Even on my first rep, if I try to move it fast, I'm not going to be able to because the load, if, if I could, I'd be able to do more than three reps with that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to choose a weight that is relatively light. Let's say you're able to do a minimum of 10 repetitions or eight, eight 10 repetitions. So again, light exists on a spectrum. 
eight is lighter than three. Three reps is heavier than, than eight reps. Eight reps would be heavier than 15 reps, 15 reps. So at what point is that, you know, that optimal effect? There's no research that indicates that at this point where you're, um, but if you, you're not going to be able to use heavy, it'll be above, let's say eight, I'd say you'd have to go a minimum, uh, as light as a minimum of eight repetitions, eight RM. If you could do more, if you could do a heavier load, you're not going to be able to move it quickly enough to get that benefit. And by the way, there's other things you could do. You can do plyometric training. Now for some older people, that can be somewhat dangerous. But I mean, you can throw a medicine ball. That's a way of power training. So take a medicine ball. I mean, older people can easily do that mm -hmm. We're, uh, for the upper body. These are good upper body uh, movements that would be, I think, very user friendly for people that are older. It can be fun, which again, it's kind of, we do see kind of this trajectory from youth to uh, getting into our adulthood and then aging. We're making it fun again. Uh, a lot of times is important for older people.